The LSC-325 has had over 65 years of service and has seen the shores of North Africa, Sicily, and Normandy. After sailing many seas, it was pressed into service by the Greek Navy and later junked into the shipyards of Crete. It was reclaimed by a group of veterans and traveled over 6,000 miles back to America. After a long journey, the LSC-325 has finally found a permanent home in Evansville and serves as our community's new tourist attraction. In Pennsylvania in October of 1942, the LSC-325 was launched onto the first of many missions during the European conflict. It participated in the invasion of Normandy and in many more critical battles during World War II. The LSC's main function was a tank and vehicle transport that could land on the beachheads. While the LST was most often identified with delivering tanks and trucks, they also transported supplies ranging from gasoline and ammunition to beer for the troops. Sometimes they would serve as temporary hospital transport and remove wounded troops from action. Following the war, most LSTs were sold for their scrap or given to our allies to serve in their navies. After the war in 1946, the 325 was decommissioned from the U.S. Navy. In 1951, the LST was active within the military sea transport Arctic operations. In 1964, it was sent to Greece and served in their Navy for many years until it was decommissioned in 1999, but the cultural impact that the Greeks had upon it remains to this day. In the 1990s, a group of retired LST veterans had a dream to educate people about their role and the role of the ships in winning World War II. The LSTs were a critical part in our success in World War II and were also the unsung heroes, being overshadowed by bigger and more glamorous ships. It was really uh, the work, one of the workhorses of the Navy were the LSDs, because they, they were the only ship that they had that could actually land troops and equipment or take them off of beaches. So. The old veterans formed the USS Ship Memorial, Inc., whose mission was to save and restore an LST. In 2000, the LST-325 was acquired by USS Ship Memorial, Incorporated. Originally, they set out to acquire the LST-391, which was built in Evansville. After much strenuous work to get a law passed allowing them to bring it home, they returned to Greece only to find the 391 stripped and far beyond repair. The group then decided to recover the LST-325, which was sitting at dock in the shipyards. Led by Robert Jornlin, the retired military serviceman paid more than $2,000 apiece to travel to Greece to recover the LST-325. The servicemen were at a significant disadvantage with the average age of the crewmen being 72. There were many necessary repairs that had to be made before the ship could make a trip back home. The crew worked in temperatures that averaged 104 degrees. Robert Jornlin had stepped in as captain after the original leader had returned home. After all the repairs were made to get the LST operational, the crew then set out on a 78-day journey to return home. Conditions on the 6,000-mile trip were extremely harsh. The crew had been warned by U.S. officials not to attempt the trip. Considering the age of the crew, the condition of the ship, and the hazards of crossing the Atlantic in January, many feared that it might not survive. They persevered despite the discouraging views of others. The crew was not alone in keeping the ship running. The U.S. Embassy convinced the Greek Navy to help out with aiding the crew, without which the LSC repairs could not have been possible. Upon the journey home, the LSC faced many roadblocks. Two compasses failed, steering was lost, and two out of the three generators stopped working. It was broken down in Gibraltar and more repairs were made before they could cross the Atlantic. The LSD crew received help from the British Petrol by donating 52,000 gallons of diesel fuel and four Higgins boats. The ship returned to Mobile, Alabama in January of 2001. Commander Jackson Carter, the LSD's executive officer, passed away five weeks after returning home. He served as an avid ham radio operator and assisted immensely in recovering and restoring the ship in Greece. At first, Mobile became somewhat of a holding place for the LST. The veterans and members of the USS Ship Memorial Incorporated knew that if it returned to Mobile, overshadowed by the great battleships and destroyers, that it would perish without receiving the type of publicity that it would receive in a different location. From there, the LST began its tour route up the Mississippi River to Evansville. Upon the first day of touring, it was estimated that the ship would receive 30,000 viewers for the 10-day tour in Evansville. It stayed for 10 days in Marina Point in downtown Evansville. Well, 
Our first uh, arrival here in Evansville was in July of 03. That was for a 10-day visit. That was quite something. About 35,000 uh, people came through in 10 days. There was lines all the way down onto Waterworks Road. Constant. During World War II, Evansville led the nation in production of landing ship tanks by producing 167 LSTs. Captain Robert Jordan was thoroughly impressed by the large crowd drawn from Evansville, saying it was the greatest amount of people he had seen while touring the LSTs. Due to these reasons and the great determination of the Council for the LST, in the fall of 2005, the LST-325 became a permanent memorial for Evansville. Within a short amount of time, the importance of the LST that the veterans had recognized became visible to the public. Annually, there is an LST week in September that is dedicated to the LST-325 and the many veterans involved in previous wars. In the summer of 2007, a D-Day reenactment was held with many old active warcrafts with the LST leading the way. The 325 is the only landing ship tank that has the aptitude for being in a reenactment as it is the only running LST today. In company with some 2,000 viewers of this reenactment was the History Channel crew filming footage for an upcoming special. Also in 2007, the History Channel did additional filming aboard the ship for the series Hero Ships. It'll be a 13-part series. You know, aircraft carriers will be one of the hero ships and submarines, etc. LSTs are one of those, and uh, so we'll get a full one-hour show in History Channel. Due to the publicity generated by History Channel, the LST became very popular on a local and national scale. The LST as of 2007 has received over 50,000 viewers. The LST-325 serves as a great token to all veterans. A generous swelling of pride is felt within every hardened military heart for this monument. The LST-325 represents the history and potential of this city. It may not have the flamboyance of a battleship or aircraft carrier, but the LST holds a part in every proud member of this city as a great representation of Evansville's contribution. The courage and determination of those who have passed is forever cemented within the LST.